a few moments later. Wow, we actually spotted somebody. 2,000 meters away, fuck. Okay, chaps, mission complete. Going to the pub. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for uh, tuning in again. Today we're going to be playing a tank that I've never played. Excuse me, my nose itched. On the live server, this is the Challenger. And the reason why I didn't play this is when it was first introduced, it had a lot of growing pains, a lot of bug reports, a lot of uh, um, times where things went through the mantlet or the turret armor when it wasn't supposed to go through. And I think they've done some work to it, but I don't know if it's a hundred percent. One thing I can tell you right now, <clears throat> if you want to kill the challenger, all you have to do is shoot right here. Just shoot above the gun a little bit. You see that? 60 millimeters of cast homogenous armor. 60. Now, sure, it is angled, but at 9.3, things go right through it. And once it penetrates above that gun, then look at what it has to hit. It's not direct. Actually, it is. This, this column right here is directly behind where the round would come in, and the tank has a chance of... Look at that Titan GPU right there. It has a chance to go boom. The other thing is the lower glacis is absolutely non-existent. Now, it does dip down a little bit into the lower glacis, but we all know that at uh, or with, with the Chieftain and with the Challenger, we're not supposed to, you know, play rambunctiously like the Leopards or the Leos, the Leopard or the Abrams or the MBTs, etc. We're a chill tank with a ton of armor in a very good gun for a 9.3, but not not the best. Now, if everything goes our way and the incoming rounds hit where I want them to, they're gonna be dealing with 470 millimeters against kinetic. Now, the only thing that can penetrate that up close and personal is gonna be the, excuse me here, if it hits that spot where I want it to. Now, that being so close range, they're gonna be able to uh, potentially shoot our weak spot right above our gun breach and kill us. Now, if they mess up that shot, they're going to take out our gun breach. And that's one of the ways that I kill challengers when they're hold down is I just shoot their gun breach, pop some forward smoke, uh, work around them and get a side shot. And they're still repairing for 20 seconds. Oh, I see their gun move. Boom, another shot right to the gun breach. It's very easy to de-weapon these things to where they're on constant repair and with that repair time, you have the time to work around the tank. And all you really need is just, you know, a small sliver to be able to penetrate. As you can see here, very little side armor. Hang on, let's, let's, let's get the proper view. We have the side armor right here, or like the, um, the track plates. And then right in here is the true side armor right there. 38 millimeters. With all that said, though... We're dealing with a 120 millimeter gun that can shoot around, that can penetrate max 440 millimeters of armor. So this is going to be really nice for us to deal against the T-64 Bravo. Now, if we're not up close and personal, we're going to have to shoot for a weak spot. But at least uh, with this extra energy and penetrating power, we'll be able to go through some things that the uh, DM-13, I believe, the 120 millimeter on the... Leopard 2K and the Abrams gun can't really deal with. So without further ado, grab your coffee, grab your tea, grab a beer, grab vodka, apple juice, and um, relax with me because that's how we're going to be playing today. Very relaxed, methodical gameplay. Here we go. Guys, welcome to uh, the Challengers. Oh, I do apologize. If I ever say Chieftain, just know down in my heart, and in yours as well, that I meant Challenger. This is the Challenger's natural habitat right here. This is beautiful. Now, when 
when do we stop though? Like where's a good spot for us to chill out and not push anymore? I think right here or the next one. And in all honesty, I can't see more than like a thousand meters. Yeah, okay, maybe we can push up more because it's hard to spot right now. Abram see something. You just get nailed? Oh jeez, how do you guys see? Is that is that a tank? Oh the is come on! Guys, we can't see anything right there. Backing up. Good riddance. You know what it is, guys? It's the fucking sun. The sun hitting us lights us up across the battlefield while he's in shadow. So we're going to change sides here just because this side, we're just like in the spotlight right now. And so I think that's why we were able to get spotted so easily without us returning the visual on him. That's a real tank. You see that? Think you saw me? No, he didn't. Now the guy who shot me is over to the right. I don't really know what sector he's on. I'm gonna assume. I'm gonna assume right here. I really don't like putting out blind spots like that, but just because our team has pushed through here, that's probably the next logical place where an enemy could be at. Leopard 2K just took out that Abrams that was with us earlier. I wanted to go for the gunners first, because if not, those things could have ruined me. Or that guy could have ruined me. Take a left here. Now, an Abrams shot someone over here. It popped up on radar or minimap. There's no rush right now. Now, this spot is more aggressive. We can see the incoming better, but our back's completely exposed. Whoa. My round just got absorbed by fuel. It didn't even go through the tank. Okay, we'll let my teammates clear, clear it out. I got no problem with teamwork. Good job. Well done. Another guy's over there just camping. Keep it up and victory will be ours. Whoa, come on! Reed shot right before I could click the trigger. I clicked at the same time, but uh, he was able to get one away. God dang it. I guess we can hang out with Professor Chaos. I mean, what what the hell is a challenger going to do in an urban environment? What you seeing out here, bro? He looks so pretty, though. I, I got to give him that. Looks gorgeous. No one shoot me. I just spawned. I'm gonna get nailed here. Nope, okay. I'll take it. God, I got such good visual on Bravo. Anyone wants to go into Bravo, you are screwed. Look at look at this spot. Gosh, I never really played defensive on this map. Okay, we're just, we're just gonna have some eyes on uh, Bravo for a little bit. Trap shot at him. <laughs> that guy's. Oh, sh yep. Shiitake mushrooms. We got you in sight. And he's dead. No, he's not. Oh, Jesus. Did 
too low on the shot, too low on the shot. Armor's lower. Armor's lower. That's gonna go through. Yep. His armor was depressing, so we can easily go through that. Another one on the left side. Attention to the designated grid zone. You might be expecting this, I don't know. We saw him move right. Oh, he just killed someone. I, I I've got no shot on that though. No, I was having fun. I was having fun. What the fuck was that? Is that a rocket? What what was that? That was someone shot a BB at me. Okay. No, there he is. Look at this guy. Just I just saved both of those. Oh man, I should have let him go through and killed those anti-air and MBT and uh, Abrams. Well, the, the MBT can get away with it though. Okay, let's start scanning again. <laughs> They're like, holy shit, guy! Holy shit, there was somebody there. That is exactly what people were talking about. Those little bugs in this thing's armor. There's no way that APFSDS should have gone through. Just for the people who don't understand what just happened, we had a round, a DM-13, 417 millimeters of pen at the closest range go through this. Armor value, oh, X-ray. 470 kinetic and it was not like he went underneath he went straight through and even if anything he shot it at a more angled position because i was higher than him that i don't understand like there it, it, it should be like this is a no-go i don't know I, I i don't know how coding works but they they still haven't gotten it right so this is what they've done with the m1 abrams top tier gameplay there's like 6v6, 5v5. Four Abrams is the max, and the rest, like, no one's fucking playing challengers, obviously. I feel really bad for the Abrams guys. Just kidding, I really don't. But just sitting there like, oh, gosh, you got to play my, my my Abrams. Come on, my Abrams. Come on, get me in the game. All right, get ready for engaging gameplay. I know, right? Wow, we actually spotted somebody. 2,000 meters away, fuck. Riveting. Next gen. Okay, chaps, mission complete. Go into the pub. If anyone knows Russian, whatever that means there is uh, the guy I just killed. Let me know, comments below. <laughs> Let me know what he said. <laughs> this is probably like something suka. Suka gay boy or <laughs> something like that okay well with everything cleared we're gonna push up to alpha cap that and hopefully just uh destroy this they they need to change this up and maybe it will change up once the next patch comes out 
Someone's at Bravo. Uh, he, he needs help. Looks like he. Oh, yep, yep. Moving. Let's go. Let's go, Charlie. This guy's calling out. There's someone else over here in the top right. Oh, I might have just seen him. Hang on, let's help out the Bravo guy first, and then we'll move on to the, the longer rangers. Not fast enough, nor do I think any tank in the game could have gotten there in time. Maybe an Abrams. We're going to play the backside. There's his dead body. Attack the B point. The light forces have captured a zone. I hear him shifting. There's some engine debris right there. Okay, good. Not engine debris, engine exhaust, excuse me. Things. They, they always get me, man. Okay, so there's one, only one more tanker up. The other's in a MiG-15. And that Abrams, Willie, is in the top right of the map. Pretty much ready to uh, kill anyone who spawns or anyone who's kind of around there. Or I think this guy is at, I think he's around this area. If not, he'll be playing on the after Charlie. Bombs are out. A little too early for that. Ah, uh, <laughs> oh shit. Oh, he wasn't doing the bomb thing. There's literally a tank right here. I, I wonder if he got set on fire. <laughs> Oops. Okay, a little risky, a little risky. Oh, no. No, sir, Bob. Hold it down. Yes, we got it. Woo. I think because we fired first, we we're able to beat that reload. Hey guys, a track. Did he even get tracked by the way though? Oh, no. oh. That's the question. Like if a track wants to eat a whole round, let it eat a whole round, but you gotta track it. But besides the point, gosh, this round would destroy the track and keep going through. That's like this, like, ugh. Fellas, hope you have enjoyed today's video. Um, yeah, a lot of, a lot of turret, really not much. I mean, it does bounce every now and then, but I, I still don't trust it at all. Um, and especially with this huge weak spot, like, you know, you think people are going to shoot you here, shoot you here. They're just going to shoot you right here. They're going to degun you and then, you know, manipulate you after that. Other than this area and that bug we experienced today, it does very, very well at, uh, I guess, lane protection or objective protection. You sit and you can use this thing's at this gun's accuracy and penetration to ruin targets, as you saw, if they're not wanting to pay attention, if they're not wanting to pay their dues, up to two kilometers away. Very good gun. Not the best penetration, but the second best in the game for kinetic. But that won't be the case once uh, 1.79 comes out. So enjoy it while you can. Again, guys, hope you have enjoyed. Have a great one. Until next time, peace out.